so how is it guys like it's been a long time since like i've sat down and talked to you like this and do some stuff with you but good to know that everything is perfectly fine now we you know we moved we arranged some things so many things to do but right now everything is like settling down and so many things happening but don't worry about it so right now i have so many video ideas you don't know guys because you know we've been moving i can't film well because everything's not set up yet but right now since everything is now set definitely i'll do more videos and if you have video requests just comment in down below and i will also upload like an apartment tour like new apartment tour like sooner or even i don't know probably this week or within next week but if you just want to see it just stay tuned guys so for this week's video it's all about unboxing and as you can see in the title you probably might know what we're going to unbox today and it's the color pop now uh as you can see i already opened it up and tried to take a look what's inside this so here we go what i can see here are like cards let me see okay so basically this is like a receipt oh i like the color says hey love you're amazing and there's no buts about it xoxo color so cute and like a little booklet let me see oh gorgeous basically this booklet like contains what their products are and like a little tips and tricks on how to use their products so cool i will probably read this when i was trying to order this i was trying to find a fall edition but I don't know if you have to like sort them out or their little boxes. I saw some people, they have like boxes for it, but I didn't see it in the website. I just want to try it out. But these and what I got has like, like fall colors into it. So I really like it. So first, this one, the little one is, what you call this again? Let me see. Oh, this one is Foxy. It has the ultra matte lipsticks and they are in small size the reason i yes i know i could buy the big ones but since this is my first time having their products so i don't really want to commit into it i just want to see first if you know i like it or not so that worth the money okay so they these are so cute look at how small they are you see this is how small they are i love the colors they, like Three of these are more likely has neutral shades and two of these are like red, red and purplish. I don't know how to describe colors because uh, sometimes I'm colorblind, but let me just get them out. So these are all the lippies that they had. These are in small sizes because I just want to try them out first. But if you have like recommendations of shades that you think might suit me, just comment them down below. I would really love to try. But first, before I try them one by one, like swatch them, I also have like the eyeshadows. Where are they? Okay, so this, uh, this is the Zingara. It's the Super Shock Shadow Collection, so it has Jinxi, it's pearl Pearlized, Paradox, it's Satin, Elixir, it's Matte, and Seeker, it's also Matte. See that? It's so cute. I love their packaging, actually. Hey, so I really want to try their eyeshadows too. I've heard so many good things about it. Okay, so here they are. All right, guys, so I'm back. So let me think what I'm going to swatch first. Are it the lipids or the shadows? Well, let's try with the lipsticks. So first I'm going to try Beeper. Okay, so what are on my lips right now is the Beeper. I like it. And the formula? smooth like usually when i try like liquid lipsticks it really dries out my lips so fast but for this one it's good let me see if it's kiss proof ah, 
just a little bit, but you see that? Just a little bit, but not bad. I like the formula. I think I'm gonna wear this a lot, especially this fall. I like it. Same beeper. Beeper. Let me try the next one, which is clueless. Ah, uh, it feels like wasting the lipstick because I already like it, and then I have to wipe it off. But for the sake of the video. Alright, so this is what Clueless looks like on my lips. Like a pinkish nude. I'm going to try to swatch them on my hands to see the difference and I just want to let you see what it looks like on my lips. I like the formula. I really like Kiss Proof. <gasps> this one is not Why is this one kiss proof? Maybe it depends if you apply too much, if you apply it thickly or probably. But this one so far, there's no transfer. Okay, so no more lipstick. So my lips are becoming red because like I'm rubbing the lipstick off my mouth so I think it also affects on what the color it might be but don't worry I will still swatch them in my hands or in my arms so that you can really see because my lips are like getting red as I can see there's no lipstick but it feels like there is lipstick the next one is I don't exactly know how to pronounce it right is it but it's T-U-L-L-E so just correct me if I'm wrong I actually like this one too. It's like a dark shade of brown, purplish, reddish. Like, this is for fall. I'm going to grab a full size. But this is how it looks like on my lips right now. It's cool. I love it. It's amazing. Let's see if it's kiss proof. Just a little bit of chance for like what happened with the beeper so maybe probably it's just on how you apply it but if I let it dry oh okay so if you let it dry doesn't transfer so wow I like the formula so far the ultra matte lip but I also heard that like ultra satin lips are better than this but let me see I'll try to get my hands on one of those or like even a set of those if I have money of course <laughs> but I will try so the next shade that I have here is more better so let me see if it's really more better like states with the name let me see hmm actually I like it this reminds me a darker shade of my Kat Von D mother shade or probably this one is like four times darker than that but I love it. Kiss proof? Yeah, if you let it dry, it's definitely kiss proof. It doesn't transfer. Okay, so this is the last one on the Foxy edition. Do you say edition? But it's called Creeper. And it's like bright red, like almost brighter than bloods. It's also good for the fall season, like... Oh, I love... Same kiss proof! Okay, so, so far I'm impressed with these lipids that they had. So hopefully soon I will try their ultra satin lips. So far I'm impressed, like I'm trying to settle this for like a few minutes, try to see if like it's trying to dry out my lips. It doesn't dry my lips at all, but I did hurt my lip. I did hurt my lips because I was like, uh, help me. Moving on to the eyeshadows now. So you know what I did? Like I really want, I really really want to try them out. Like supposedly I'll use these shades to put in my eyes today, but I really like the texture. Like I need to take a picture of it first or like a video of it first because. They are good, they look so good, but I still don't know how they feel, so since I cannot do it on my eyes because I already did my makeup, but let me try to swatch it here. Okay, so 
These four are shoot shit. These four are super shock shadows. Just let's start with Jinxie first. Jinxie, oh, if you play League of Legends, like I want the Star Guardian Jinx so much, but let me see how this one feels. Feels feels creamy. Let me see. No, it's ruined now. I really love the texture. It's creamy. Let's see. Ooh. Can you? Uh, I don't even know if you can see it. I had a bad lighting, so. But let me just swatch everything. It feels so smooth when you swatch it. Ooh. I love it's I love this. It's not too glittery like it's pigmented and it's not too glittery. This is what I'm looking for. I'm going to move on on seeker like I've been eyeing this one so much but really hope it's also good. It's the same creamy feeling. What are these made of? But how I touch them is like creamy but the more you pat on it, it's powdery too. Creamy powdery. See? Ooh, super pigmented. This one, I'm pretty sure you can see it. It's really good. Like, I don't know if this also belongs to the fall edition, but wow. It's good going to use this a lot. I'm going to move on to Elixir. Let's see. So I get... Oh, it's really smooth when you swatch it. It really feels good. Oh, is this the one I've been looking for? I'm looking forward for this kind of shade. Like it's brownish, reddish, orangey type of feel like. I, when I went to Sephora, I take a look at this Tila palette. I don't know what edition, but they had this like orangey color and I really love it. But let me see, this one is only $5 compared to like $50, $60. So, let's see. I am so glad I got this. This is the orangey thing trying to find plus it's really smooth and pigmented but i'm really worried if i use like my makeup brushes does it work with this or i always had to use my fingers well i have to test that out oh so after you put them it feels dry now really matte dry yeah so this will really settle really good in the skin and the last one would be the Paradox. Like, I don't know what to swatch. Ah. I really love the texture. Oh, so this one is like, I thought for this, it was red, but it's more mar reddish maroon. Not pretty sure if it's. You guys decide and correct me on what it looks like to you. This one. Definitely, I'm happy that I got the Zingara one because look at these shades. It's Queen's Fall! Look at my fingers now. It's okay. Okay, so so far the lipids and the eyeshadows, everything was perfectly good for me. Like, I love them. Alright, guys, so that's everything. So, I really hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you so much, and God bless you.